Okay, I've got a bit more room on the table here to shoot the video, so I'm just going to make a <clears throat> kind of a quick video of what I did today, which was get the uh, Cat 308 moving forwards and backwards, and turning left, and turning right. I have to switch the wires around on the motors because right now it's actually kind of opposing. So I have it going forwards and backwards, but when I turn it right, it goes left and left and right. So I have to flip those around uh, and then that'll be good there. Um, it's not rotating yet, but I have installed the slip ring for it. So that's in there. That's moving around like that. Oops. And that's free to move around like that and that way. So yeah, it's nice. I'm glad I got that done today. Uh, so the motors that I've got in it right now, <clears throat> they are some six volt, 100 RPM motors that I ordered um, well, a while ago now. I think I actually ordered them for my soil compactor. So, um, but they never ended up working out, but they're good dimensions actually for the wheels on the soil compactor. Either way, they sat in a box forever and I thought this is a pretty good chance to use them up and I like them, they're nice and smooth. Um, I do kind of seem to remember them struggling a bit in the compactor, however, so I might eventually just change them out to uh, 60 RPM ones or something like that, I think. Um, I have a bit of work to do as well inside I've got to open up the sprocket again and put a metal uh, brass tube piece over it with a thread on it so I can just have a bit of metal to thread uh, into uh, when I put the grub screw through. And then uh, I'll cover these up and kind of tie them up, make them look a little nicer. Uh, and then, yeah, the next thing will be the gray blade. Uh, so I'll be doing that. Next, uh, making that go up and down. And then um, what I did do today was source out the last little bit of parts I needed as well. So I got a, um, a spur gear and I have a pinion gear. So I got to make a little mount for the motor to spin the pinion gear on the spur gear and that'll rotate. And then I need to get the gray blade going. So I have my uh, black and white wire there already for that. So that'll go on uh, and I'm going to make an actuator for that uh, to run up and down on it. So it'll be a, a motor under there. I'm going to try out a couple of different thread ideas, see what I got for space because it's a, it's a tight little area there. It doesn't need to move much. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then once I've done that, the bottom will be done. I can start coming up inside of it and working on uh, all the other functions, uh, which will be basically the, uh, the articulation of the boom and then the boom itself. So the boom itself actually, I kind of totally changed my plan on it because once I started looking at the motors, um, I was realizing that I was probably gonna end up having a bunch of motors sticking out really far. And I, I wanna try, I'm not saying I can, but I would like to try and see about um, um, trying to hide them a little bit more. So I might, it sent me back a little bit on the boom, but I've ordered a bunch of stuff and now I'm waiting for it. So. Uh, that's that, and then uh, I'll just show underneath too, I guess, what I did under there. So for the slip ring, I just kind of decided to make like a uh, like a friction kind of fit piece in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, anyways, it's in there. It's just a super tight ring that I printed that really snug fit around the slip ring to hold it, and then also snug fit really nice and tight into the outside of the uh, this part here. So it's locked in, it's not moving. We'll see how it does. We'd have to do something with it later on, so be it, but it, I wanted to try and just do something where I could keep things locked in place and free without having to put screws down because it's kind of tight for tolerances on there. And that seems to be working. So I'm gonna be happy with that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be that. So it's coming along pretty good. We'll see how the motors do. I probably have to put some pins in the tracks too. I don't have that done yet either. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but uh, yeah, things to do, but at least I got it moving today. I, I like it, it's cool. So I'm gonna give it a little hill climb, see if I can do something with it. 